Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So actually, the question today is, of yours asking, is Khalwa Haram? So can you please, I guess, elaborate and explain that? Yeah, so what Khalwa refers to is an Arabic word which means something like seclusion. It's also pronounced Khalwa. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, it's, it's refer more specifically re uh, a seclusion between a male and, and a female. So there's a narrative that says that if a man and woman are together alone, the devil is a third among them. Uh, and that has led to the um, common practice among Muslims to separate uh, the, the genders. Now, of of course, it has uh, implications in modern times. A uh, young man uh, goes to apply for a job and he's called in for the interview uh, with the, the final mm -hmm. stage and the big boss here is a woman, so they're together in the same office. Well, then uh, what do you do in that situation? Uh, well, we, we say that necessity overrides the rules, so overrides uh, the rules. So here, um, you know, he's in that situation. He just needs to get this interview over and done with. And of course, in the meantime, remember God, remember his restrictions and not uh, you know, get into any uh, situation that would be itself haram. So the, the seclusion here is a, a means uh, uh, towards the haram. It can lead towards haram or you can stop yourself in, in the middle. And, and um, it's, it's only dissuaded because, or we're only dissuaded from it because it is a means to, uh, that, that could get you closer to haram, mm -hmm. uh, to something that is prohibited. But of course, uh, it doesn't mean that the means itself is is haram to enter into. Uh, to to give an example, like let's say you're you're going down a slide. Well, the moment you step on the slide, you're all the way down. You know, you're yeah. heading down there in uh, inevitably, right? But if you're going down a set of stairs, you can go down one step and you can stop right there. You can mm -hmm. get to the platform in the middle and you know take a breather. You don't have to keep going. You can make your way back up if you wanted. So the the uh, we shouldn't think of everything as a slippery slope. I see uh, what you're saying. You know, okay. you can yeah. be steps and you can go back, you can make mm -hmm. your way back out. So because this is not a slippery slope, you're, you know, it's something that you're dissuaded from, but you have to see the practical uh, scenarios. So and it's also about looking at the context of the situation, right? Uh, yes, and of course we, we know from, from uh, the uh, recent Me Too movement that people have actually fallen into great error and, and women have actually been abused and harassed because they've allowed themselves to be in such situations. In fact, often predators uh, lure uh, their prey into such situations and so then that, yeah. they you know, carry out their harassment and, and so on. Um, we've, we've read stories in, in the Toronto area, it happened that you know, there was a story about you know, a man leading woman to you know, his house and then saying, okay, let me give you a, you know, a tour of the house. Okay, yeah. so there's the kitchen, there's the living room, let's go upstairs, that's the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then before she knows it, you know, now she has You're a complaint. You're sort of stuck in a situation, yeah. yeah. So, and, and then in another case, the woman was, you know, uh, being shown the guy's office. So he, mm -hmm. she went into his office and here is, you know, um, now a complaint arising out of that. So uh, to, to stop these uh, situations from getting out of hand, the Islamic prescription is that you don't get into that situation to begin with. You try to avoid it the best you you can. Mm -hmm. And this is for both genders. It's not only for women to protect themselves, but it's also for men uh, to be aware of Satan tempting them towards evil and avoiding the situations where they will be tempted uh, towards evil. And where it's possible to avoid, because obviously in some of these situations it wasn't that, like it wasn't on the woman that she could avoid the situation. Exactly. She just found Often in that harassment is a power issue and yeah. the one having power over the uh, subordinate, uh, you know, uh, misuses mm -hmm. and abuses that power. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dr. Shabir. Yo. Hey, YouTube. We hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.